Tonight, the Austin City Council voted to move ahead with extended parking meter hours downtown. Those new extended hours will take effect just after Labor Day. But the council wanted to make some last-minute tweaks before they move forward in an effort to help downtown businesses. KXAN's Jared Wise joins us in the studio now to explain. Hi, Jared. Hi, Shannon. Well, originally, council wanted to extend metered hours for six days of the week, but now they've decided to focus on the weekends. Now, here's the new plan. As you see, Monday through Wednesday is off the list. The rest of the days, those meters will operate until midnight, except on Sunday. But some were expecting the council to vote on changing the coverage area as well, which extends from I-35 west to Lamar Boulevard and Lady Bird Lake north to 10th Street. But that didn't happen. Heavens to Betsy, no. Joanne Bartz came to the council meeting Thursday night to voice her concerns because her church, St. Mary's Cathedral, sits on 10th Street, right where the parking meter boundary would end. And we would be impacted very much because we have things going on 24-7 throughout the week. We feel like we're trying to just strike a balance between all of the competing concerns and staff's recommendation. Council member Mike Martinez worked closely with churches and several businesses to try to get that boundary moved south to 8th Street, but with no luck. The original plan was voted through with Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday now off the table. The intent is to increase on-street parking. We're not sure that intent is going to be met. I think it's going to frustrate a lot of people. I mean Extending parking meter hours is still a concern to some who frequent downtown. Others are already preparing. I think people will just adapt to it. I think I'll just deal with it, um, even though it's it's kind of frustrating. It's cool that there's free parking a lot of the time, but um, I mean, if they need to do it, they need to do it. The new plan will generate about two and a half million dollars, one and a half million dollars less than the original plan, and the city will be keeping an eye on the operation, reporting back in about six months to make any necessary changes. So, if the fears of hurting businesses and restaurants and nightclubs actually does come to fruition, I think you'll see this council want to make some reconsiderations of items because the last thing we want to do is hurt our downtown businesses. Now, there are several plans in place to help businesses downtown once these new hours take effect. Some parking garages have agreed to lower rates for people who work in the area, and a pilot program is starting to reimburse bar patrons for parking tickets they receive if they decide to take a taxi home instead. The new extended hours kick off September 6th. Warnings will be issued for a month, and actual enforcement will start on October 3rd. We're live in the studio, Jared Wise, KXAN News.